Hello and welcome everyone. Neil Ellis here from Tykes TV for the after match for and player ratings against Wickham. This is going to be a good one, isn't it? So we'll get into it. Uh, before I get into player ratings, what you know, my player ratings, what I think, um, it just goes to show what you know what we're going to be coming up against in League One. Looking back on it, you look at teams we've already lost to Plymouth, Derby, and Wickham. And teams we won against Cheltenham, you know, and Bristol. It kind of, and I look at it, it kind of, you know, puts us where is Ardent Lee kind of thing. Is in, you know, his position and where we're going to be wins, where we're getting wins from. You look at uh, the three that we lost against, and they're going to be there or there about some playoffs, you know, from last season kind of thing. They know what it's about, Wickham. The season in this league, we know what it takes to get a result out. Being in 20th this time, this early on at season is a false representation. You know what you're going to get under Gareth Ainsworth, you know, but they it just goes to show you how poor Bristol were. They offered no, and they lost again as, as well yesterday. So, again, it's keep feet on ground, but also be realistic. You know, I thought we we're going to win Wickham 3 1. I thought, yeah, momentum is going to take us. Side to the same eleven, but unfortunately it turned out not to be. Some of, some of stuff. Well, we'll get onto player ratings in a minute, but some of stuff uh, refereeing. Again, I could do another show on that, but it goes to show that you can't do a fifty-fifty challenge anymore without a ref. You know, blowing up for out. Lino less than ten yard away. Don't know what he's doing with flag. I think he's either kept it down or he's doing. Trying to wave something in for like bloody life or something, flag marshalling. I don't know what he's doing. Poor, poor standard refereeing. Poor standard refereeing. And again, I'm not just blaming that. We were his own, we, we did it, we, you know, we contributed to his own downfall, his own mistakes by simple things. Someone come out with a comment behind and it were eight. So we're not even when it's, uh, we're not when it's second balls. And someone behind me said, we're not even when it fist balls. Fair comment, you know what I mean? It's you've got to be there, you've got to turn up, and like I said, I want to go through player ratings. So, we're going to be interesting. Player ratings Brad Collins, I think you all can see that 4.8. Goal kicks going astray a lot of time, going out of play, unsure at the time whether to play short or kick long or. Decision making at times. When he got caught off a goal for his, you know, for, for their second goal. After that, I noticed that he looked a bit unsure whether to come for a ball or not. A little hesitant. So again, something like that. We're not really called upon at Bristol. Yet Wickham, they knew what to do. You know, you look at their players. I mean, I've got them down here. McClear, the gate, Scowen, Mehmet. Mawson, the boss did it and marshalled it, and it reflects on on player ratings. I'm going to give you that. again. Your guys might agree, disagree. It's all about opinions, but these are what I've like average dark kind of thing. Williams getting forward with plenty of times and that, but space being exploited time after time after time. Always having to, you know, get out of position to cover. We're having to cover. Because he's like too far up. For me, Williams, I keep saying it, we need another eight win back. Exploited again, that area, people doing their own work. He got exploited at Plymouth, got exploited at Derby County for their goals. And again, they kept bombing it down via, bombing it down via. And it's not only wing back role as well, that to be fair. Mads, 7.2. Some people say I'm probably being generous at that, but what I saw in it, he had a chance early doors in the first half. Um, he seemed to be all over at back. We were having to be, to be fair, because your other, other defenders were getting pulled out of position to cover wing back roles. So he seemed to be isolated on his own, but we were having to cover a lot of pitch. Seems to be all over. Like I said, for me, I think Mad's got man at match. Um, basically, just because we were having to cover here, there, and everywhere. He were having to be all over the place because your other defenders were having to get pulled out to to cover. 
can't you know it's gone from being looked pretty solid and looked comfortable against poor Bristol. It turns out to be now against someone who knows the league and the exploiter's vulnerabilities. So Matt's for me, 7.2. Cundy, trying to get stuck into his tackles. Um, issue with me, with Cundy, is just his lack of pace with Summit. You know, Wickham's attackers were clearly, you know, for Mehmet, I know we were having to get pulled out and having to, you know, pick up men kind of thing. But at times he looked with pace, uh, his pace looks a bit of an issue. But 5.5, he stuck to what he could do. Um, and he sort 90 minutes out for me. So, yeah, Kundi, 5.5. Kitchen. Game of seven. Um, he was trying to bring the ball out. And it looks like a thing what's been worked on that. Which I ain't got a problem trying to bring the ball out. But at the same time, he was having to rein it in. Because he's getting isolated at playing on the left side of central defence. Because Styles won't track him back enough. So again, I think it kind of stifled him from what he wanted to do, his own gameplay, because he's having to cover left wing back roll until we change formation in second half. <clears throat> so for me, I think Kitchen were doing pretty good, pretty fair, but we're still not tracking back enough. Kitchen having to pick up that, that position again, just like what Kundi having to pick up with uh, right wing back. He's leaving Anderson isolated on his own at back. So for me, I'm going to give him a seven. Again, your guys might think a bit less, but that's what you know. That's what it's all about. I mean, your say. Styles. I just don't know what to say. It's from what he did at Bristol Rovers, and it goes to show how poor they were. 4.5, some people probably say you should have given less, or, you know, but work rate, not tracking back enough. Body language, so, so frustrating for me, is that, is your heart in it or what? Or are you just going to turn up on certain games? I'm surprised that substitute didn't come earlier. Uh, I was surprised that Undermark came on, to be fair, but that proved to be a tactical change. Um, I got the substitutes a bit later on. Oh well, yeah, Undermark came in and then formation change. It looked like it went to a 4 4 2 when that happened. But again, that was questionable because it like sense to disrupt it and didn't really, you know, didn't really do out for us. 4 4 2. Um, well, I didn't think it did anyway. I didn't, I didn't see it. I didn't think it did. Uh, your guy might have thought it might have made us a bit more solid in midfield. But for me, 4.5. Uh, off his three good games, you know, this won't one of his best, this one, it passes and tackles. I'm going to give him a 6.5. We're trying, but Wickham have done, done a number on us. Scowling and rest at midfield, they've done a number on us. They knew what danger men were. We were uh, pretty weak at wing back role, so they've done it. Ainsworth is a decent manager, he knows the league. Saw the vulnerabilities, identify the you know, potential danger men. And he, he did a number on us. He, he did a job on us. Thomas, 6.8. He tried to get going things in midfield, but then again, he needed supporters and all. So, yeah, he received some, you know, tackles and that again. I think we all saw that. Like I said, ref, well, well ref was shocking to say the least. Um, but yeah, he tried getting things going, but he just won't wick him. And um, we'll get to the front two again, trying to create things. And well, people up front not ex taking chances and seizing on that. Luke O'Connell, one of his quiet games, not involved. I, to be fair, I didn't really know he were on pitch kind of thing. I know he tried ruining a bat and off at pitch, you know, off at ball, sorry, on pitch, but it won't one of his best games. And again, wick him had done a number on him. The new, you know, we're dropping deep to try and get the ball and bring it out and start it. it identified it and we tried nulling it. And they went direct a lot of times. The hustled and bustled, used a bit of muscle. And it paid off for them. It paid off for them. 
you'll think on the first goal, Wickham's first goal, at one point I think we had about six or seven defenders in box. But it was a decent goal by them, to be fair. And again, in midfield, when they had that long-range shot, you know, when they had ball, the exploited uh, right wing back row, but went down, they cut inside, went across it, crossed by it, post didn't go in, so it could have been falling out. But yeah, one of Luca's quiet games, but again, we can do a number. Trying to take all, out muscled for me, up front, out muscled, had very few chances, little chances, holding ball up. Morrison and rest of the defensive unit were solid on him, didn't really have time. We're into channels like what Wickham were doing, creating it and opening spaces up. When he did, nobody else were engaging into it. Again, full full play to Wickham. Full play to Wickham. They knew what it they knew what it took and they, you know, they isolated him. But yeah, for me, Devante Call out muscled. I'm surprised that in that late game and what you know, game of gone, I'm surprised that Sudjo didn't come on. I'm surprised that Aiden Marsh didn't get a run out. But Jack Aitchison, 5.2. Closing down, fair enough. But at the end of the day, when you're in that position, you've got to start putting chances away or start creating chances and start, you know, putting your centre bar as in boxing danger area. Closing down, that's fine. I've not got a problem with that. That's been a requirement to what uh, Duff wants. But decision making at times for me is a big worry now. It's getting a bit concerning. We're it been in some decent positions and he didn't know if he'd ever shoot, ever pass. <sighs> Good positions at times, but overplaying it, you've got to either have a pop at goal when when it's on. Don't always try and overplay and play it into the box. Sometimes it, you might get getting it and it might take a wicked bobble and it go in. But you can't, you haven't got the luxury and affordability to try and play nice, fancy play ball into back in there. Sometimes you need to get your laces through it and test goalkeeper out, see what it's like. When we did test the goalkeeper out, he did some great saves in the first half. Second half, no. No. And yeah, I get we're, very, you know, Mawson. That were a Mawson thing, that. Calling it out to goalkeeper. Uh, you know, we, we basically they wanted a drink spread. And to disrupt play. So he told, told goalkeeper to, to, you know, get down for an injury. You know, so it's for dark arts. It's for dark arts. Yet again, what someone got to wind up to. No, we came on, put a bar, uh, won a few tackles, uh, got a few tackles for us for, you know, for free kicks and that. But again, free note down. It were all over and done, wasn't it, basically? So, yeah, guys, that's, you know, that's my player ratings and a bit of the tech on game. It's going to be interesting next two away games coming up in the league. Ipswich and Chef, Chef Wednesday. Something's got to happen where we've got to... Well, we're calling out for it. We've been calling out for it weeks and weeks now, haven't we? For an attacker, and I still want to right win back. I still want a right wing back. I thought there'd have been a few few more substitutions being made. Uh with such as McCartney on the bench, Marsh, uh Nicky Cadden. Now whether Nicky Cadden's not, you know, hundred percent fit and not worth taking a risk with game gone like that. That's fair enough. I, I appreciate that. But we need to have a look at a sen. We we are as a club. We players are tech stock and reevaluate and address it because like I said, people what were in and around me and they were getting frustrated. And it were a culmination of things, you know, referee weren't great. Line totally get back. Totally get back. But then we didn't do us any favours when you've got like I said getting exploited in both wing back positions. Seven minute box up for their second goal. Brad Collins off his line, yeah, fair enough. Good awareness by a player for Wickham, that's fair enough. But after that, you could tell that, you know, you could tell that Collins were undecided then when the ball were coming off at defence, do I come out for it or not? So it puts that, you know, doubt in your mind. 
And then that, you know, their third goal again, it worked and it worked across and great goal, great put away. You can't say it won't. It could have been more. You know, it could have been more. So yeah, I will be doing uh, predicted. You know, my starting prediction for Leeds. I think there'll be a fair few changes that'll be coming out in the next day or two. Might be interesting to see. But yeah, let me know your thoughts uh, in comments below. Please like, like, subscribe, and share. I've, sorry, my throat's up, still a bit croaky from shouting from yesterday. Uh, but yeah, let me know your thoughts. Player ratings. Um, you know what what we need. I think we all know what we need is in player wise. Thanks for watching. Have a good rest of your weekend. One thing left to say: you Reds. Thank <music> you.